everyone welcome back to my channel because I'm crafty my name is Caitlin and welcome to my new sewing room tour um, today I'm going to show you guys around my new space uh, if you watched my kind of comeback video I talked a little bit about the last few um, sewing spaces that I've had and I didn't really show you um, the last one or the one before that I didn't really get to use that much um, but now I have a much bigger space than I've had before um, things are more organized and put together and it's not quite finished yet there's a bit of construction going to be happening in this room soon so I figured I might as well show you guys now and then talk a little bit about what's going to be happening but for the most part it is the way it is and I wanted to show you kind of how I've put it together um, if you've watched my videos for a while you would have seen the transformation that um, I made in my first sewing room where I we built the walls we put all of the drywall and trim in and did the flooring and then painted that um, backdrop wall that I had red and I had all my pictures on it um, so I've done something similar here but it's a little bit more spaced out so I took a lot of inspiration from my original sewing room that I was so near and dear to my heart I love that room so much but yeah this is my new space so let's get into it hey everybody so we're gonna start off where I just came in the door um, and I'm going to show you the wall here. We'll kind of head in that direction. Um, but yeah, so this side of the wall I have my dress form. Um, this is my bootstrap fashion dress form where you put in your own measurements and they make you a PDF pattern so you can make your own dress form to your size. So this came in really handy when I was making my Halloween costume. It was really the first time I'd used it for real. Um, and it was great. I can't wait to keep working with it. Um, I haven't put the wheels on the base yet, but we're working on it. Um, here I've got some of the pictures that I had uh, in my old sewing room. So these are some vintage magazine pages. We've got, this is Harper's Bazaar, uh, May 1931. We've got, I don't know what this is from, but it's 1933. And then this is the other shoe page. Um, I love these. I used to go to like vintage clothing shows all the time and they would have, some vendors would have these like vintage uh, magazine pages and I love them. So you'll see the others from my old sewing room as well. Um, I have my ironing board station here and then I keep some of my supplies up top. I'll show you in a sec. And then here I have these cork boards where sometimes I put like little notes and stuff. Um, these are just from Dollar Emma. So super like inexpensive and they look really cute. So I've got dress form, ironing station, have some of my supplies here and then like I said up top in this bin. Um, in these drawers here um, I have some of my charging cables and things for my cameras because um, there's a plug down here. Um, so it's kind of like a charging station slash <laughs> supplies for my cameras um, and then this thing this is super cool this is a small vacuum I bought at Costco that is like for your car so it's like auto ready um, it's cordless so you just charge it it's got all these attachments but I use it to pick up all the sewing threads that I've gotten all over the floor so I love this in here it's been great to keep things clean and then up here is just a bunch of storage. Um, these bins have like some projects and things in them. It's a bit of a mess. I need to go through all of this, but it's a great little storage spot. And I had these racks in the old sewing room, so I'm just repurposing all of those. Down here, I have a rack that I bought from Ikea. This has a bunch of like special projects, um, clothes that I've bought recently that I need to alter, um, kind of like sentimental pieces. Um, I've I'm covering it with my like George Brown like garment bag um, because of the window but yeah this is a great tool um, I just didn't want to keep all this stuff upstairs in the closet um, so they're all kind of hanging out in there so because of that window I was worried about the Sun kind of damaging the fabrics on these kind of sentimental pieces um, but that won't be a problem for much longer Right now it's pretty ugly. We've got a beautiful garbage bag up here and some cork insulation. So this wall is not properly framed in. Um, it's basically just like the bare cement um, and the wall facing <laughs> the outside and the ground. 
Um, so the, this is something the landlord told us when we moved in he wanted to fix. We didn't get to it last year, so we are going to be working on it. Um, basically, once I finish this video, maybe I'll film one more. Um, but I need to kind of put everything away, plastic things, protect it from the dust. But it's going to be drywalled in, insulated properly. And then I can put up the curtain rod that I bought like a few months ago, put up the curtains and all of that. Um, we basically just temporarily put up the garbage bag because I was working down here late, later in the evening on my Halloween costume. And you can see everything when it gets dark and I have the lights on in here. And I just felt like people maybe walking by can see me working and I just felt like it was really just weird. I didn't feel comfortable so the garbage bag is doing its job but it will look better soon. <laughs> Okay, so next is my sewing table. If you've watched any of my videos before, you've seen this table. Um, we built it, put it all together, and then underneath is like my fabric storage. So it was really important when we designed this table that I wanted like a kind of bottom to it so that I could stack all my bins. A lot of this I need to go through and kind of reorganize, but this is an amazing table. I absolutely love it. It's just MDF um, top and uh, two by fours on the bottom. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you guys my storage wall. I absolutely love this. Um, we bought a bunch of Billy bookshelf bookshelves from Ikea, and I bought a couple doors for the bottom just to keep it nice and clean. Um, I wanted, you know, some of it needs to be hidden away, some of it I like to have kind of out. So this I'm still kind of rearranging and figuring out what I'm doing. I wanted more like home decor kind of type things out at the front here and then getting into more practical storage down towards the end since my sewing machines are on the wall behind me um, but yeah this came together really well um, but we're still I'm still working on it a little bit but it looks really pretty so on this one like I said I just have like some random <laughs> things up here for the moment um, in this one I have a lot of like home supplies office supplies and like other like electronic equipment in the bottom over here this is really like the bookshelf <laughs> uh this has all of my like school textbooks from fashion design school um some other books that i've kind of collected um the last few years and then i've got more down here and my like illustration um markers and drawing equipment down there and then this is the side closest to my sewing machine. So I have a lot of like pattern making and thread and sewing machine supplies here. So down in this one, I have lots of patterns. Um, they're all sorted by type. These are all like kind of like PDF patterns that I've printed out and cut. And then I have some pattern making supplies here. Um, up top, I really like to buy these from Dollarama these little like hardware dividers um, so these ones I have like some snaps grommets um, hook and bars um, this one over here I have like sewing machine feet and screwdrivers screws um, this is the buttonhole attachment for my Kenmore and then some other tools and the machine feet back there up here we've got a similar case but a little bit different um, we've got buttons um, rings and sliders for like lingerie making and then my old tags for my like clothing that I was making on Etsy and then we have thread so I've sorted all my serger thread kind of by color and then up here we have our sewing machine thread so we've got our normal like thread spools and then all of our bobbins up here and then up top I've used these bins again that I got from Dollarama and I've sorted a bunch of patterns. And in this cover back here, it's a lot of like, it's a mess. We're just going to close that. Um, but it's a lot of like crafting kind of supplies. Okay, now to the super fun wall. <laughs> We've got our sewing machines um, behind me. I've got my Halloween costume 2021. This was the Cruella costume that I made. I didn't know what to do with her, so I just put her on display. Um, maybe we'll put the mask costume here after. I had a similar like board like this in my old sewing room. I forget what it's called, but this one I got from Ikea. It has a lot more like attachments and things that you can add to it. 
So I've got my rulers, my tapes, measuring tapes, scissors, rotary cutters, little bits and bobs up there. And then my sewing machine table here. This, this is actually a closet door that I got from the Restore Habitat for Humanity and some Ikea legs underneath. And now I can fit all three of my domestic uh, machines. So I've got my Kenmore. This is a top loading bobbin. And then my white. This is the machine that started it all <laughs> with the bobbin that uh, goes underneath. And then this is a machine that's new to me, but I hunted this down on Facebook Marketplace. I had to drive like an hour off the island of Montreal to find it, but this is a white super lock uh, machine. And then back here, if you've watched my videos for a while, you would have seen these in my original sewing room. So again, some more like vintage uh, magazine pages. This one's actually a cover from 1928, which is where the red inspiration kind of came from for my first uh, my first sewing room with the red wall. Um, and I, we actually added lighting here too. So they're hanging up here. We got them from the Restore Habitat for Humanity as well. So behind me we've got both of my industrial machines. I have a straight stitch singer, which you've seen in a few of my videos um, back in the early days. Um, and then we've got my Rimoldi. This is a industrial cover stitch machine. I don't use it very much, uh, mostly when I'm using um, stretch material, making t-shirts and things like that. Um, but this I got off Facebook Marketplace for like 150 bucks. Somebody was moving and just really needed to get rid of it, and we snatched that. This machine is great. Um, it's very loud. It's a beast. It used to make like uh, skating costumes and dance costumes, so there's a lot of glitter inside, but it's a pretty good machine. And then my straight stitch. So I guess the last thing I'll point out in this room is the couch down here. Um, this you might recognize, I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. It's originally an Ikea couch and I recovered it in one of my DIY videos. It was a bright orange and we changed it to like a light pink nude tone and I made some nice decor pillows to go along with it. Um, this used to be like our living room couch. But I separated it, I put the long piece in our bedroom, and then I brought down the chair and the ottoman here. So now just at the end of my table I have a nice spot to like sit if I want to work on my laptop, or I just need to like take a break, I can sit here and just have a little comfy spot to chill out. So, and we've got some fabric mess over here to deal with, which is why I need to sort the fabric underneath all this table, because it's overflowing. Okay, the last, the actual last thing I want to show you guys is my chair. So I don't have a chair at all my sewing machines. It takes up too much room to have a chair at each of them. So what I kind of learned with my last chair, which I DIY'd it, I love that chair. I recovered it. It was a great chair. But when you have a rolly chair, the wheels just get filled with thread over time and the wheels just didn't move anymore so I was just like kind of sliding it across the floor and it just it's like there's got to be a better chair for a sewing or kind of crafty area so again when I was at Costco I saw this like weighted wobbly chair and it fits underneath the the table that I have all my domestic machines on so I can just slide it away if I need more space and it's really easy to move around so if you're looking for a kind of thread free chair option I'd look into this definitely if you have back problems it it like may not be the best because you need that back support but for me I find that it makes me sit up with proper posture um, because it doesn't have that support um, so sometimes at the sewing machine I can get really like hunched over and I'm like looking really close at what I'm doing um, and this makes that uncomfortable so it forces you to sit up straight um, so I really like that about the chair. It's really comfortable on your butt, but it's also kind of fun because you get to like wobble around. Um, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to sit on it first. And we're going to spin. can spin all the way around. Woo! 
Um, yeah, it's a super fun chair, but yeah, you just have to be like careful, but because it's kind of unstable in a sense, it like makes you sit up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is it here. Push it. Um, it's super easy to move and it moves up and down. Um, so you can adjust the height. I think this is the lowest that it goes. Um, for me. And down here I've got some like overflow of past projects. Um, I made a new couch since this one's, <laughs> this old couch is down here now. Um, that's leftover like foam. Um, and then some more fabric that won't fit underneath my table. So yeah, that's the room. That's it. I don't have any more to show you. <laughs> um, no, for real. If there's anything in this room that you think maybe you have some questions about, or maybe I could tell you a little bit more about, um, especially like the machines or any equipment I have, I'd be happy to share, um, especially I want to do one on my like dress form and how that came together. Um, there's so many things I could do, like I've said before, but I just really love this space. I think I can do so, so much in here. I just have to have the time, but it's a really nice spot to come down and just be creative, do whatever I want, um, and have the space for all these things too, because I've definitely accumulated a lot um, over the years. That's why I need to do a little bit of sorting. Um, but yeah, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. It wasn't uh, as kind of, it's a lot more casual, I would say, <laughs> than I normally do. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if there's anything you want to know more about, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.